Hello and welcome back. I'm Otis Landerholm. I'm the founding attorney here at Landerholm Immigration APC, where we fight for your American dream. It's April 2019. We're talking a lot about removal defense this month. Um, so here's a scenario for you, right? Imagine that you're in immigration proceedings and you just got married to your girlfriend or your husband or girlfriend, boyfriend, now your husband, wife, right? And now you want to file for a green card, you know, and imagine your husband or wife is a U.S. citizen or a green card holder and now you want to have that person petition for you. How does that work if you're in deportation proceedings right now, all right? So, uh, great question, right? And the, the thing to know is that, first of all, it's not easy. Just because you're married to a U.S. citizen does not mean that deportation proceedings against you stop. They don't stop, all right? And actually, the government will doubt your relationship. When, when a marriage happens after somebody's already in removal proceedings, it's subject to what they call a heightened standard, all right? You have to show clear and convincing evidence that your marriage is bona fide. It's not just the preponderance of the evidence. So you've got to show a lot, you have to show additional evidence that your marriage is, yes, lawful, but also, quote unquote, bona fide, that you really love each other, that you're really in that relationship that you say that you're in. It's not just for immigration purposes, all right? So that's one piece of the puzzle, all right? The other piece of the puzzle is you've got to be eligible to use that marriage. You've got to be eligible to use a marriage-based petition, which means you've got to be admissible, right? You have to have been admitted or paroled into the United States, all right? And if you've got those, then really you can, you can do it. Uh, the way to do it is to submit the paperwork to the court, all right? In the old days, we could argue to get your case terminated in front of the court and fight your case in front of the immigration service where it's not as you know confrontational, not as adversarial. But these days, the court doesn't terminate those types of cases like they used to, all right? And so we've got to actually fight these cases in court, which means we've got to prepare you to testify and we've got to prepare your husband or wife to testify to explain your relationship and to explain you know, your eligibility for a marriage-based green card. And as long as you are eligible, then an immigration judge can approve your case, approve your green card, and you can become a lawful permanent resident of the United States. So if you have questions about that, I'd love to help you through that process. We love helping people through immigration cases in immigration court. And so if you're in immigration court, please, please, please contact our office. Don't try to do it alone. Please contact our office. We also have monthly seminars on the topic. Please check those out. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, please call our office. You've got our number here below this video. Thanks again for watching. I'm Otis Landerholm, Landerholm Immigration APC, where we fight for your American dream. Thank you.